Hello and welcome to Meet the Newsroom. I'm Dan Shear. I'm the editor of the Green Valley News and the Sawadita Sun. This is George Encinas, the assistant editor of our newspapers and a recent returnee to Arizona. George was a reporter with us a couple of years ago, then went off to our sister newspaper in Pierce, South Dakota, and uh, was the managing editor up there for a couple of years. George, good to be out of the cold. It is good to be out of the cold. It is <laughs> warmer here. They're still getting some snow up there every now and then. So. Yeah, but a great experience for you, no doubt. Pure is an interesting community because it is the state capital, but it also is somewhat rural. It is. It's uh, So it's right in the center of the state. Um, great views, especially right off of the river, the Missouri River, but um, you're also a few hours away from the nearest biggest cities. Uh, at the same time, it's a center of state government but you don't want to ignore the local community either so you have to kind of get that that good balance so that you don't turn your own town into a news desert covering the state but oftentimes you guys would end up on the national stage because christy noam the governor of south dakota her name has been out there as a potential for uh, 2024 for either a president or vice president mm -hmm. so you had to uh, cover that you were over at the governor's mansion on occasion and uh, so uh, a lot of community news, but then you also had to do some stuff that was statewide and national. Um, there was, and there's always plenty of issues coming out of there. Um, you might not think there'd be a lot of issues coming out of a smaller rural right. state, but um, there are, and they, they do get a lot of national attention, so you do have to pay attention to everything going on. Well, a little bit of background on George. He's an Army veteran. He holds a master's degree from the University of uh, Arizona in journalism, and he also is a uh, Tucson native. I am born and raised. Uh, spent a lot of time outside of Tucson, but I always manage to make my way back here. Um, can't get away from the desert. Very good. And and what he'll be doing for us is covering a couple of key beats, the town of Sawadita, which is uh, dealing with some big issues right now, a proposed asphalt plant right side, outside of Quail Creek. Uh, we have the Copper World Project, which is uh, kind of uh, our version of Rosemont on our side of the mountain. Uh, and then he'll also be covering uh, Pima County and uh, some issues going on there. There's something always going on with Pima County. There is a uh, county beat tends to keep you busy, but it, it, it's it's good. I love covering government stuff, and um, well, a lot of other people might find going to a meeting boring. Um, I, I'm one of those few that find it interesting. So. But one of our favorite things to do at a community paper, of course, is to tell interesting stories about interesting people, and that's what our readers really like. Tell us uh, maybe a favorite or two that you have worked on in the past before you left us for Pier. Well, that's one of the great things about Green Valley is that. There's always interesting people here. They've had you know nice long careers, stuff like that. Uh, so they really give you a great perspective looking back. Um, one of the favorites was Ernie Cox. Uh, he was a Chicago Tribune photographer for years, uh, worked in their Washington DC bureau and had a million stories and a million photos to go with him. Yeah, and uh, Ernie still can't drive by an accident scene without taking some photos and sending them to us and we Love that. He and his wife, Deborah, are terrific photographers. So, well, welcome back to Arizona, George Encinas, and thank you for joining us on Meet the Newsroom. And in uh, future editions, we're going to be meeting more dedicated journalists from the Green Valley News and the Saudi Sun. Thanks for joining us.